Hello, my YouTubians. How are you going? Hello, Wolfpack. All right. So I was asked about colors. Okay. Uh, how do you get the colors? Uh, how how do they work? Okay. Well, the colors. Everyone has two colors. Um, they can be given to you, or you can select them, which is uh, usually better uh, for you to select them yourself. Now. Um, the very uh, the easiest way is you figure out what your what are your two favorite colors okay that's important white and black are considered colors in this case now you figure out what are your two uh, favorite colors are they green and blue are they black and red are they white and orange you know whatever the two colors are Okay, so you pick your two favorite colors. Now, you have to, what do they represent to you? Okay, for instance, um, yellow for myself. Yellow reminds me of the mornings. It also reminds me of sunset. It also makes me calm, so there's, it relieves fear. Um, it also is the wind from Mother Earth to me. It's like, you know, like if you're watching uh, tall wheat or something being blown in the wind sort of a thing. It's all calming effect, you know. And it's also, for another example, would be books, an old, old book with the pages and the pages of knowledge, and they're all yellow, you know. And it also makes me feel young. Yellow is a color of, of to me, uh, for me, it makes me feel young when I'm around. It energizes me, right? Red, for instance, would be um, unconditional love, okay? It also represents to me the blood of Jesus that he gave for us all um, to live and, and to be healthy. It, it also reminds me that sometimes you have to stand up and fight for what you believe in, okay? And at other times, it reminds me of a feast of plenty. So, for me, that's how it works you see so you got to pick your two favorite colors and what does it remind you of you have to have four things that it uh, you can have a hundred things don't matter but four main things that it reminds you of now if you can't come up with the four things for that particular color then that's obviously not the color that you want okay you have to have four reasons why you like that color you know um, <clears throat> sometimes you'll find one color and it fits perfectly and you can't figure out what the other is. So think of the color that you like the least, right? And then do you have four things of why you would like it instead of not like it, right? And sometimes that ends up being the color. So uh, it, a lot of it depends. Now, why is this important? Because colors, you, if you have your colors, it gives you strength. It gives you mental strength. It gives you spiritual strength, okay? Because you have spiritually connected with those colors by giving it its reasons okay so now it's it's a mental strength for you when you need it it's a spiritual strength for for you when you need it and and it will always do those things that you have mentioned so when you do them and when you're picking your colors you say I pick this color because it represents this and you'll say I pick this color because it represents that you know and when you get to the end of it you know, you ask for the blessings from whoever you want the blessings on those colors. So you could say, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, bless these colors for me, you know, um, and what have you. So anyway, that's the basis of colors. So I hope that answers the questions. Now, the other thing I was asked to show was uh, glyphs and, and how I make them, what the prayers are, stuff like that. I can only show you what I pray. I mean, you have to decide yourself what you're going to say. Um, but what I did is I cut out three pieces of chipboard, painted one side white, okay, in three different sizes, three different colors. All right, so the first one, we're going to use red, which is one of my colors, obviously, and because so many uh, <coughs> of YouTubians have felt lately 
that they have been hexed. Uh, I'm going to show you how to break that hex. Now, there's a big difference between a hex and a curse. Okay, a hex is something that is directed solely at you, okay, or your surroundings, your family. Um, but it's it's a direct thing. So I hope you all go broke, you know, or I hope you all do this. It's, it's a one command that is directed solely at you, right, which will affect everybody else. A curse is something that is ongoing. It doesn't stop. Um, and it, it also could be, it, it could also be about anything. Luna, not right now. So, stop. Behave. It can be for anything. So, what we're going to do is the first is you want to protect yourself. So you're going to draw or paint. You can use markers, you can do whatever, but I'm using uh, paint that I got from the buck, st buck store, <laughs> the dollar store. And as you're doing this, you're thinking, this is to protect me. This is to keep myself safe, to remove anything that has been forced upon me. I ask the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit to remove any hexes that have been put towards me and send it back to the person that sent it. I ask for purity. And that's your circle done, see? Then you're crossing the hex out. So you're going to make an X, but on each, on each end of the X there's going to be a little circle. So that it can rotate back to where it came from. So you just make a line and then you put a circle or a, a round uh, thing at the end of each each one. So I'll show you. And then you say to your elementals or to whoever, this is what it looks like. And then you do your your actual uh, your prayers and stuff, and I'll do mine so that it gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I ask you that you do not let people put these hexes on me. I ask for Father Sky and Mother Earth to please take this challenge, take this thing, and send it back to where it came from. I ask for for Sister Moon and Brother Sun to blind the person to where I am so that they cannot send any more. I ask for Sister Lake and Brother Melton to make their path to me too treacherous for them to try to come after me. I also ask for the four w directions and the, and the four winds to who know all and see all to make sure that I do not give out bad energy and bad energy does not come to me. I also ask that the animal totems and all the animal spirits and my guides and my spirit friends to protect me. And I also ask for the elements and the elementos to keep this shield holy. See ya, see ya. So that's how I do it. Okay? And now we have protection from a hex. Okay? So there's that one. <coughs> the next one is a, a few uh, dear friends have talked about uh, having curses put on them by witches or, or uh, wizards or warlocks or you know anyone like that maybe druids maybe shamans who knows but anyway um, that some curses were put on now these will not take away anything that's positive for you. These only take away the negative stuff, okay? So if you've got a friend or family member that's a witch, it's not going to affect them <laughs> if they're doing something positive. If they send something negative towards you, that's the only time it does anything, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to be at the very center. So you make a circle of yellow. Well, not for me, it's yellow. 
right in the center. Okay, that's me. And then you want to make a circle for around your house and around wherever you may travel. So you want a bigger, great big circle that goes all the way around. And this is um, an area that's always around you. It's your personal space, okay? Your personal um, area. So you're going to make a circle that goes around you, okay? And then I'll probably have to put two coats, but this is just for uh, for this episode. All right. So now I've got the inner circle and the outer circle. You see. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use a daisy. Because a daisy doesn't stop, doesn't end, it's always moving, right? So if a spell comes towards you, you want it to keep on moving, you don't want it to come to you. So, you're going to make the petals, starting at 12, okay, so your first petals at 12, and then two every two hours, right? So two four, six, eight, and ten. So th those are where your tips of your, where you want the tips of the, uh, the leaves to go. Alright, because basically what's going to happen is if someone does put a curse, it'll come along your outside, it'll go on one of those uh, pedals, get swung around the loop, go back to the outside, Go to the next one, get swung around the loop, go back to the other side, and it continues to always avoid you. Alright? And it keeps going around and around, but never hits the center. Okay? So that's what the, that's what it's all about. Okay, and the same prayers work for this, but you say um, uh, curses. Or spells, either word. And then you put the last one on. Okay, I don't know how good that's going to show up. Uh, but there's your daisy. Okay, once it dries, it'll be darker, but um, that'll keep away any curses that anyone puts towards you that is negative. Okay, it won't stop blessings, but it'll stop curses. Okay. Now for the last one, I'm going to show you how to keep. Um, for the last one for for this for this episode, I'm going to show you how to keep stuff out of your boundaries. So it could be your house or your yard, okay, wherever four boundaries are. So let's say that we're doing this for the yard, okay. So you take your one color. And you're going to make a square. Okay. So here we go. We make a small square. Alright. And this will keep any evil at all out of your place. Any negative energies will be kept out. Okay. So. Basically as you're doing this you're thinking. I put this. In my case I put this yellow shield around my yard to keep everything negative out of my yard okay so basically this is what you have then you got to put a symbol in there of peace and something that makes you feel good so I'm gonna put a cross I'll put a cross in, in the middle of mine okay but something that makes you feel good in my case I'm using a cross Okay. Only good, light, pure energy may enter my property. Okay. That's it for the yellow. Then you want to get out your next color. In my case, it's red. And you're going to make another square around the outside of the yellow. Okay, and you're thinking, you just say, all dark matter must stay behind the borderline or the red line. Okay, so anything dark must stay behind that. Can 
not pass that. All right. So now you have a red border. Okay. Then you're going to say, I'm going to get the four directions to send back anything negative. So you're basically drawing a little C at each corner. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so if any energy comes, it gets shot right back around. So you have your C's, you see? That's basically a uh, uh, second defense and then you want to from the center of that you want to make your line go out all right so it goes right back the same direction that it comes in so as you can see Alright, and then you're going to put a, a circle on the end of each of those red lines. So you have that, and then in that circle you're put in, putting an X through. So I'll show you again. So at the circle, you just make a little X. keeps the good inside and that keeps the dark outside right um, and then what will happen if something dark comes in it gets thrown back out and then it gets split into four and goes four different directions so it can never come back to you right so basically you're spreading it out and once it becomes divided and, and thinned out it's not as dangerous as it when it first got there so the next person that has to deal with the shit <laughs> it's going to be 75% uh, less effective already so you're already helping your neighbor <laughs> anyway um, so I'll give you one quick look at them all again all right this one is for personal access to protect you and this one is for spells negative spells and this one is to protect your home and, and your property All right, so I hope that helps, and I uh, hope that answers a bunch of questions. Uh, next episode, uh, we'll do a couple more of those, plus uh, we're going to mix up another um, another ingredient for you. So I hope uh, to see you then, and I hope you'll join us then. Until next time, take care of yourselves. All right, bye-bye.